Hello, everyone. This course is about practical Java TDD test jar development with JUnit 5. Let me briefly introduce the course agenda first. The first, I will just explain what is the TDD. And the second, I will high level introduce red green reflect circle. And the third, I will buy details to introduce the TDD development workflow. And the last section, I will implement uh, arithmetical expressions by TDD. We will step by step implement the stack data structure and uh, implement the algorithm infix expression to postfix expression. Correlation and uh, eventually complete the arithmetical expression. Totally speak, this course is more hands on tutorial or TDD. Okay, as you can see, we will implement the complex arithmetical expression and then verify the result. Let's execution at here. Okay. During this course, we will develop the amount of test cases method. Those test cases method will help us to verify our source code correctness or help us to enhance our source code. Okay, see you next lecture. Okay, before we implement the arithmetical expression API, let's take a look at what is TDD. The TDD is the test driver development. It's software development approach in which test cases are developed to special and validated what the code will do. Okay. In simple terms, the test cases for each function are created and tested first. And if the test fails, then the new code is run in order to pass the test and uh, making code simple and uh, bug free. The test driver development starts with uh, designing and uh, developing tests for every small function or uh, application. Totally speak, TDD rooted in extreme programming. And this is one of the best practice of Agile methodology. Okay, that is the TDD briefly introduced. So, how to practice TDD? In general, we will follow three phases cycle. We will need to develop new features or reproduce errors in the production environment. We first write the unit test code and uh, let the execution field. This is called red phase. Then, we, then the developer will change or enhancement the source code, let the test cases execution passed. This, is, this phase is the gray phase. After all of the test case execution successfully, maybe we need to reflect the source code without change the behavior. Because we have enough test cases, so feel free to reflect source code and don't worry, red face again. And this is the loop cycle until the unit tests cover every source code branch and the scenarios. Okay. In red face, totally speak, is, is think about what you want to develop. The red face is always the start point of the red gray reflect cycle. The purpose of this phase is to write a test that informs the implantation of the future. The test will only pass when, when the, its uh, expectation are met. The gray phase, totally speak, is think about how to make your test cases pass. The gray phase is where you implement code 
to make your test pass. The goal is to find a solution without worry about optimality of your experimentation. At, at the reflect phase, we'll think about how to improve your existing implementation, like the reflect the source code or to do some um, tuning and optimal reason, right? In the reflect phase, we are still in the green. You can begin thinking about how to implement your code better or more efficiently. All right, this is a red green reflect circle. And uh, actually, in our course, we will follow this circle and uh, implement our source code. It's about arithmetical expression. OK. OK, in previous lecture, we already understand the red green reflect physics circle, as that is about the TDD3 physics. In this lecture, we will introduce the TDD development workflow. Uh, first, we will receive the requirements, uh, maybe come from the product owner or schoolmaster, and then we will let the test case first. So, need to develop the test case code. And then, execution the test cases code, maybe is a field, right? If the execution not field, we can uh, uh, we can um, append the new new more test cases to cover uh, try to, try to cover the different scenario, right? It's uh, if if necessary. Okay, if the test cases execution field, we need to change the source code and try to fix that or um, or give the right behavior of the source code. And then execution the test code again. If the test case is an execution field, we need to change the source code. And uh, after execution all the source code successfully, uh, maybe we, we will reflect the source code or test the code. And, uh, and then execution the test code again. That is the one more, right? If, if the execution test code is filled after we refactor the source code, we need to we need to uh, change the source code, and uh, and and let it uh, successful. If the test case is is the is the execution successfully after we refactor the source code, uh, we will we will no need to change the source code. Maybe maybe a panda or enhancement some more test cases called. Okay. The, this part is about the red face. And uh, this part is about green face. And uh, the third part is uh, about reflect face. That is all of the developed workflow based on TDD methodology. All right. In in this course, we will, based on the TDD methodology, develop the complex uh, arithmetical expression. And uh, finally, we will calculate the arithmetic expression and give an exactly correct result. I, I, I have the three words of the implementation. The first word is just for the simple uh, calculator and the second second word is uh, is is focused on the reflect, and the third version will be try to implement the complex and uh, arithmetic expression that is our final version. Okay, here we go. Okay, after understanding the development process for TDD. Let's practice how to implement an arithmetic expression API based on TDD methodology. First, we need to introduce the JUnit file Jupyter dependency in our POM file. 
As you can see, I'm already introduced the dependency. The first is the Jupyter engine that will be used to detach and the Jupyter source code and then execution. And the second is the parameter parameter reset um, test used used to do the data provide. And the second, I introduce the Hamcrest. This is used for assertion and verify verify the expected value and the actual value is match or not. The most important thing is don't forget introduce the plugin and config the dependency um, for Jupyter engine that will be use the execution Maven command to detach and execution the JUnit file source code. All right. And the second, we need to design a arithmetic expression API skeleton. OK. And here, I will define the expression interface. Inside this interface will exist in a method named EVAL. And the return type is double EVAL. And the parameter is the string type expression. All right. And also, I will define a static method. Uh, it is similar to the um, factory used to create the expression instant. Extends name the build. All right. Now I need to define and create another implementation named simple expression. Implement expression and all right the method EVAL. And here I will create the the new simple expression instant and return. OK, so far we already um, defined the expression API that is the uh, arithmetic expression. And also, if you uh, wanted to know um, JUnit 5 Jupyter API, uh, you can reference my another course named the JUnit 5 Jupyter under JDK 16 in detail, step by step, quoting the almost all of the future and functions um, provided by Jupyter. OK. OK. According to TDD methodology, we should develop the test code first, right? OK, here we go. Let's create the unit test class. The create test. OK. Display name arithmetic expressions test defined is a expression field. Defined setup method. Annotated by before each. Okay. Expression, expression, build. All right. Now we need to um, develop a full test method, use the to verify the eight operation, subject operation, and multiple uh, divide, right? Okay, here we go. Test evil test. And here we define the expression one and two. Okay. And uh, assert expression. Evil. 
Oops, oh, oops sorry. I renamed that. Okay. Where is that? Expression. And I expect it equal three. Right? Import by static way. Import by wildcast. This is about ADD expression. ADD open a mole. Subtract. Three, subtract one. Okay. And uh, we expected uh, two, right? And uh, more test case is a multiple. Multiple. Three multiple two, and the result will be expected a six. And uh, divide. Expression three divided two, and uh, we expect it one point five, right? One point five subtract remove s. Okay, execution this test class all of the test method will be filled. That is about uh, red perhaps. Okay. Here we go, execution this test class. As you can see, all the test method execution field because we will not write any source code at the, at the simple expression, right? Okay, next lecture we will write the first version of um, implement the EVAL method, okay? See you next lecture. Okay, from this workflow diagram, we found um, all of the test case execution field. So we need to change the source code or implement the new requirements let the test code execution successfully, right? Okay, here we go. Let's implement the EVL method. This is the first word. It's uh, pretty simple and uh, um, very easy to implement. Just uh, um, split the expression a lateral. Oper op operator, okay, and uh, funnel is the operator. If the expression contains the uh, at plus <clears throat> the operator will be at and the operator will be split and by at expression split okay Copy this. Else if the sub split by sub and the operator is the sub. It's a multiple. Split by multiple.
divide according to divide and uh, split but divide two. Here, don't forget this uh, divide, and here is a uh, multiple. Okay. Uh, and uh, else, we will through the exception is a new illegal arguments exception, right? Okay. Now we can use the uh, switch statement to to um, to do our arithmetical expressions. Switch. Operator. Case. And return the double pass double. Right, is the did operator operator ups zero and double pass one? Right, okay, it's pretty simple. I the copy. Subject. All right, and uh, copy and multiple, multiple, and the last is a divide. All right. We don't need the default at all. And here, I'll return, remove that. It's uh, need the last uh, return, so I can throw the exception at here. New illegal arguments. Unsupport. The operator. All right. Now we can execute the test class again. It's pretty cool. We execute the test cases successfully. That is uh, that is the great press, right? All right. Next lecture, we will try to refact our source code because uh, this source code is uh, is play a much responsibility, like the path uh, expression and uh, um, and the calculator, the operator, right? Okay, see you next lecture. One of the biggest benefits of TDD machine knowledge is that we can refactor the source code, feel free. Because the unit testing can help us to verify the correctness of refact. As I mentioned in the previous lecture, so far the error method is much more over response. Not only calculate the arithmetic but also need past the expressions texture. So we need refact the error method. Here we go. I'm going to extract the expression texture pass in the another inner class. Okay. Here I will define a expect inner class private static and inside the expected we have a enum the 
operator and uh, existing four types operator ADD and duplicate subject and uh, multiple divide define uh, OPT operator OPT Okay, this is the uh, operator, and uh, we'll return. We can all write the uh, two stream assert. Feel free. And also, we will define the field and the expector inner class. First is the uh, operator. And the uh, second is the uh, left operator and the right operator. Right. Okay. And uh, we define the construction method pass into. left operator, right operator. Okay, format the source code and define the get method generate by RDA. Get search. Okay. That's fine. And then we will uh, define the static method named O. Okay. And here I define the static O method. The operator Operator. Of course, it's a double left operator, double right operator. And here, return new expression, expressor. It's the operator left, right. Okay. And we also wanted to pass the expression string or texture to uh, expreter instant. Oh. We can copy the source code at here, right? Now. Okay, format the source code first. <clears throat> and here we can uh, return directly. Return of uh, operator is uh, ADD, right? ADD and uh, left is uh, operator zero and the Why? Oh. Remove that. Oops. Remove that. And uh, of course, don't forget the double pass. Pass. Double.
double pass. Okay, that's fine. We no need the operator at here. And uh, at here we can remove this and uh, return. It's a, a subject copy. Remove this. Return is uh, multiple. Divide. Delete this source code line. That's fine. We already <coughs> we already completed the. Uh, extract the the method and um, expression passing function, right? How we can remove the source code at here? We can use the uh, pattern of expressions defined the uh, Okay, right. And then now, let's use a switch case operator, right? The operator ADD, right? And here is the subtract. Subtract, here is the multiple, the divide, divide. Oops. Left. Right. Okay. It's a pretty simple, right? Uh, refact is two. Subject. At multiple. Okay. Here is uh, the what? That's fine. We already completed the refact, source, source code refact. And uh, we can execute the test class, verify our refactor is correct in it. OK, it's pretty cool. Uh, the test cases and all the test methods execution successfully. And uh, it's green, right? Um, and also, we already completed the source code reflect. We extract the the texture of expression string uh, to another inner class, and uh, only keeps the every method is clean and simple, right? Okay, this is about uh, reflect, perhaps. Right, next lecture we will add more test cases and uh, made our um, source code could not provide the, uh, um, the normal function and uh, provided the, the work view. All right, see you next lecture. Now, we have refactored the source code and passed the validation of unit test. All of the unit test execution successfully. But these are not enough to ensure the robustness of our source code because our source code could not process some special expression texture. For example, if the expression is uh, black or the expression uh, value is now and the expression contains some unsupported operator and so on. So we will going to open up more test cases let TDD reint the red press like the our point point show. Okay, here we go. Through exception when Expression is black.
test. Okay. And uh, copy that. But we need to assert, use the assert through. Um, through statement provided by Jupyter API. The illegal, illegal arguments, okay. Let's uh, copy this. The expression is black, oops. Okay, import the assert statements by that way. And another is uh, when expression is now, now value, and uh, we pass a now. And the second um, is uh, when expression contains on support unsupported operator. <clears throat> okay, that will be through illegal arguments exception. We want we want it and then we expect it. And also Expressions miss um, operator. Operator, for example, one plus or one and miss the right operator. And uh, divisor is zero when we use the uh, divide. When expression, when divide. Is zero. For example, okay, and uh, and also we can open the one more. It's uh, expression operator is not is is not uh, numerical. For example, the forms is right, x and y, the forms is right, but but the x and y is not uh, the numerical. Okay, execution the test class again, I will be reint the red press. Absolutely, our source code could not support those special uh, scenario, right? Okay, as you can see, uh, we execution the test class field. Uh, we need to, uh, from the TDD workflow, we need to change the source code again and uh, re-int the grid process. All right, next lecture, we will to refactor or change the source code, um, let our test keys can pass at the previous lecture, we and more special test cases let the process reint the red process, right? So from the process workflow, we need to uh, change the source code and the enhancement of our source code, let the past test cases passed and reint the green press. Okay, here we go. How, how to do that? Uh, that means uh, uh, how to let the simple expressions handle the um, special or uh, invalidate expressions. First, we need to uh, verify the expression. If it's now or is empty, we will through the exception directly. If um, expressions All expression chain is empty. 
uh, or is black is fine. We'll throw the new illegal exception arguments. Oops, the expression is illegal. All right. And the second, we will use a regular expression to pass uh, our uh, to pass our um, operator and uh, and uh, and uh, and operator. Okay. So, but into the O method here, uh, we will define the we will define the regular expressions at here. Static Okay. Um start must by number, right? And uh, and the second is uh, operator. Operator as have uh, several is uh, and uh, subject and multiple and divide. Okay, so I will uh, use uh, and all multiple divide, right? And the uh, last one is uh, data2 and uh, ends with the data, right? That's fine. That is about the regular expressions. Uh, we will use the two, uh, we will use the two um, group capture our operator and the operator at here. Pattern, 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 comply. Okay, it's a regular format. The source code again. And here, and the um, enum operator enum, I will define a top mapping uh, to to use the convert the string uh, to to enum value, funnel string enumer operator, tab mapping, hash map, okay, import the map tab, what's happening, okay, import the map, all right, and the static block top mapping put um, and uh, opt and and operator and uh, duplicate the source code copy And one more method. Okay, and one more method at here is a st static method operator. You get operator. OPT. Return top mapping. Get OPT. Right. That's fine. Let's refact the O method at here. We will not use the uh, uh, pass uh, um, string and by split method. We will use the um, regular. Okay. Oops. Funnel, uh, we will find the matcher matcher uh, the matcher will equals to um, pattern 
etcher. Okay. Expressions. Import. Import matcher class. If the a matcher is not matched, is uh, matched is not matched, will be through new illegal exceptions. Is uh, copy that dot illegal expressions. Okay, that's fine. And now we can uh, define the operator up at here. We can define the if you use the of third operator get operator. The match from the group is uh, is group two, right? Because as you can see, the expression is group two. This way and. Uh, Left is a group one, and double pass double. Mature group one, and the right is uh, three. Oops. This is uh, a pet. And also we can add uh, uh, one more uh, verify uh, to if the get operator do what? And uh, is the right operator x0 will be through new exception, illegal exception. The divisor could not be zero, right? We'll retain the expander and, and uh, delete all of the this source code. That's fine. We already completed the refact again or enhancement again, and uh, execution the test cases class verify our enhancement. Here we go. Well, it's pretty cool. All of the test keys execution successfully, and uh, that means uh, our simple expression class can process some special expression texture and uh, can handle and verify the invalidate um, expression, right? As you can see, um, of course, uh, we let the test case to re-int the grid perhaps. Okay. Although we already implement a basic arithmetical expression API, however, the simple expression ability is weak, could not calculate complex um, arithmetic expressions like um, more than one operator and uh, more than two operator, right? Okay, let's end one more um, test method, which um, test uh, complex um, expression. Annotated by test. Uh, we can we can write uh, some um, more complex. At here, for example, assert assert that arithmetical arithmetical expressions to evil. Uh, like uh, we wanted the three and. Uh, uh, four, um, five, two, right? That is the more express. I mean, the result of um, 
will be equals equal to you can see it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, ten a uh, six uh, okay a negative three right execution this test method absolutely failed because um, so far is a simple expression not support uh, such complex expression calculator as you can see we'll through the illegal arguments expressions um, due to due to the expression uh, did not match our our defined the regular expressions right okay next lecture we will um, go into um, implement the um, arithmetical expressions by stack uh, that will be uh, support complex um, expression calculator. Okay, see you next lecture. Okay, from this lecture, we will um, implement an uh, uh, algorithm about uh, arithmetical expressions. And uh, we will, um, we will uh, step by step to introduce that. First, we need to implement a stack data structure uh, that will be used uh, during uh, interfo interfix converted to postfix and uh, then calculate the postfix. And the second step will convert the interfix expressions to postfix expression. And the last step, we will evaluate the postfix and uh, give, give the finally and uh, result okay here we go first we needed to implement a data structure stack data structure named mine stack uh, as we know the stack data structure is the first in last out we will base on the linked list to implement that so we need to define the node. The we anyway. Private funnel. Of course, we can define here under T. Node. We. This is the next reference. This is a value. Create the constructor method. Okay, and the main stack we will define the top element. Top. Oh, it's a T. Define the no parameter construction. This top that now to this top variable how to uh, how to verify the stack is empty or not we just uh, we just uh, uh, verify the top in is now or not so we need to define the is empty method is empty method return It's pretty simple, right? Okay. The next, we need to uh, define a method uh, is uh, imported named uh, peak. Peak is just uh, uh, retain the top element, but um, but it will not pop up the element to stack. Return is empty. Um, now top value right and now we need to define the important method named push we will keep the first in last out principle push element all right if the element um, is now we will return 
false directly. Else, we will verify the top is uh, now. That means uh, so far the stack is empty. <clears throat> we need to create the first element and uh, let this element uh, is uh, top. New node. Oops. Element. Okay. Else, uh, we will let the new element uh, be a top element, and the top will be a next uh, element. Else, this top new node, and the next element will be top with the old top. Okay, element. The top will be new node and the uh, old top will be new node next element right written to <clears throat> okay let's write the pop method this is the this is also the important method and uh, this method is mandatory on stack data structure if the uh, stack is uh, empty will return now directly. Else, we can define the temporal or current um, current this top will be current. Okay, and uh, this top will be the current next, right? Okay, and the return top value of knobs current value that will be <coughs> remove of remove and retain the top element you can see let the current to top and the top um, to current next element and uh, retain the current value all right uh, this is about uh, pop method. Of course, we can define the two stream or we'll write the two stream method. Select now. Okay. We can define the stream builder. Uh, do not choose the buffer because the buffer is a synchronized builder, new stream builder. And uh, all right, return builder to string. And the last, uh, we need to open the left or right. OK. Now we need to uh, loop the uh, uh, stack elements open into this builder. Define the temporal, temporal top, OK? And the wire temporal not equals now, not now will be builder will be append uh, temporal value. Right. And the uh, and the uh, tap will be referred to next uh, node. Right. So if the Tap not now. Um, we will append a comma. Okay. So far, is, uh, I think we completed the uh, static data structure. All right. This is the first step. All right. Uh, we already experiment uh, data structure of a stack. And uh, this is the first step. The second step, we need to convert the interface expressions to postfix expressions. So what is the interface expressions and uh, post expressions? As we know, the uh, uh, inter interfix interfix is like A and B, right? And this is the uh, uh, humor readable. 
but uh, besides the interfix, it uh, exists in the pro prefix like uh, uh, plus a b, and also exists in the postfix. The postfix is like this way a a b and uh, plus, and and uh, human readable is the int prefix, but the computer approved for the postfix. So uh, from our um, PowerPoint um, algorithm, uh, we will we need to convert the int fix expression to post fix expression. So how to do that? Let me uh, explain the, the algorithm uh, step by step. For example, we have the uh, expression like the expression, this expression is the two um, and uh, three and uh, uh, multiple uh, three. Okay, this is a uh, this is simple. As we know, the multiple uh, have the a uh, high priority than add operator, right? So how to convert that? Let's uh, analysis step by step. <clears throat> okay, um, we will write a program, uh, write a function, read this expression texture, um, char, char by char. It's, uh, if we meet the digital, uh, we will append to postfix string texture. And we will meet the operator, we will put push it into a stack uh, we already <clears throat> defined. When when the stack existing um exists existing some high priority operator uh, should be um, pop up first and uh, and and then push it to again. Okay, let's read these expressions. First, um, the stack post fix is uh, is empty and the stack is empty, right? And uh, we can write. First, we read the digital two, as you can see, it's digital two. This digital will be appended at uh, prefix. Okay. Now we need to uh, read the add operator. The operator will be uh, pushed into stack, but but uh, but uh, but uh, the precondition is the uh, stack is empty. We will find that so far is the stack is empty, right? So we'll push the uh, and the operator into stack, <clears throat> right? And the next next round will be uh, will be uh, three, right? Will be three, and the three will be appended to postfix expression directly. Okay. The next uh, step is the is the same, but uh, this is the operator. It is the multiple operator. Multiple operator uh, found. Uh, uh, Put, will be pushed into stack, but 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 now stack is not empty, and uh, multiple and the multiple um, and the multiple um, operator is the high priority than and operator so and as uh, um, stack top. Okay, and then <clears throat> is the uh, three right. That will be empty of the um, original infix box, infix uh, expression, append to append to uh, postfix expression. Now we need to uh, pop up the stack one by one. Pop up the first will be multiple operator that will be un until the stack is empty. Okay, the next will be pop-ups, the add operator. Okay, that is the uh, postfix of um, of this infix expression. All right. 
Okay, absolutely, uh, because uh, the expression exists in the multiple. The multiple is a higher priority than um, and right. So the multiple will be a um, higher priority calculator um, than at. So how about the princi principle, like the and the princesses? As we know, the princess will be changed as the uh, operator priority. For example, if the existing this one that will be an uh, and uh, uh, first right and then multiple. So how to convert uh, this interfix to a post fix? Uh, we uh, let, let's dis describe an implementation one by one. Okay. First, we can give the okay postfix so far is empty, right? Now, um, read the principal left principles and uh, push into stack. Okay. At the next step will be two, right, and remove this two, okay. And the next step will be end operator. The end operator will be pushed into stack, right. The left uh, principle will be lost uh, priority, all right, okay. And the next step will be three. Okay. And the three. And here. Next step is uh, is the right uh, princess. And we read the right princess will be push the push the operator stack one by one until touch omit the left left one, so that will be remove and uh, at here end uh, and uh, empty. Okay. Uh, existing several steps, right? And uh, is a multiple operator, multiple operator will be pushed into stack. Okay, next step, again, next step we meet the digital, three is the digital and uh, append as the postfix digital, right? Now the expression is empty, but the stack is uh, not empty, so need to uh, pop up the static operator until empty. And uh, multiple operator. That is, uh, that is uh, um, this infix, um, converted to post fix expressions is a different, right? Okay, this is about uh, how to convert the uh, infix expression to post fix expression. Next lecture we will implement by source code. Okay, see you next lecture. Okay, after analysis, uh, convert the infix expression to post fix expressions algorithm step by step. In this lecture, let's implement this algorithm um, by source code. But here we need to uh, define another stack expression class. Implement expression and override the ever method. Okay. At this method, we need to uh, verify the expression is empty or not. Okay. Um, and then we will to uh, we will to convert the interface to postfix. If now is now all expressions is empty through new illegal argument expressions expression is now 
is empty, all right? And the first, we need to define is a post um, post fix. Expression is this to post fix expression. Okay, and then we want to um, return the do do error post fix. In this lecture, we will implement this method first. Okay, let Adi help us to create those two source code. First one. Okay. Which now first and create. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now let's implement the two post fix method first. And here we need to define the distributor. I used it to append a post fix. Okay. Distributor and uh, define the my stack have to uh, push the operator. Stack operator stack new my stack. All right, for loop, uh, read the expression child by child i from zero i expression length right char at i this is a char top Okay. If the is a is a black, uh, we will continue, right? Okay. If the if the chart is a digital digital ch from our analysis will be append into postfix expression directly, right? Append, yeah, search. Okay, else is no digital. That means uh, maybe it's the operator. So how to, uh, uh, how to implement the operator? As uh, recall our explanations, um, we, we needed to write the wire loop uh, statement to read one by one wire stack operator stack is not empty right and uh, stack is uh, uh sorry we we need to write a uh, um method used to uh, use to check the priority so priority into the priority. Um, we will support uh, um, several uh, several operator likes uh, <clears throat> and uh, and uh, multiple and divide. Okay, even power switch case and and. Uh, subject is the same priority, right? Okay. And uh, multiple and uh, the what is same, but uh, high priority than at. Of course, we will support the power. Three. And also, we'll support the presses. Uh, 
uh, another will be illegal. We will not support illegal arguments. The expressions is illegal. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep to implement the two fix method. Oops. And uh, prefix a stack, operator stack, pick. Pick the top element if grid or equals the current we need to pop up. Okay. Pop up and uh, append to postfix expressions. Build a append operator stack pop. And uh, after the wire, we will let the current um, CH push into operator stack, push into CH. That's fine. But uh, don't forget, we allowed the uh, princess else if the CH left princess. We just uh, push into stack directly. Right. If is the uh, right. Oops, sorry. Okay. Right. Format the source code. Uh, we meet the left or right operator. Um, Princip. We need to pop up all of the operator at the stack and open as the port fix, and then, and then pop up as the left, and drop this one. Okay. Now let's eat. Implement this wire stack is not empty. It's not empty. Okay. And uh, stack peak peak not equals the left, right? And we need to open the, open the, oh, we need builder to open the, builder to open the, open the stack, pop operator, all right. And the last step we needed to uh, drop off the left princess Right, stack, pop. Okay, and uh, and then we need to <clears throat> we need to verify the stack is empty or not. Wire stack is not empty. If the stack Pick current element is the left. That will be illegal expressions, right? Through new illegal expressions, the illegal. Okay. Else we will append as a stack operator to post a fix expression. Append. A stack pop right perfect and uh, now we need to retain the builder to string that is the port fix expression All right next lecture let, let's uh, simple test this method
Okay, last lecture we already completed the infix expression to postfix expression algorithm. In this lecture, we will a uh, simple um, test and verify the algorithm um, and uh, fix some bugs if necessary. All right, it's just uh, create the main method to test that. All right, first we need to change the simple expression to stack. Okay, this one, and, and the system out to console for the port fix expression. Right, now let's execution. Expression is built and ever, um, for example, 30 and 4, multiple 2, right. Execution. From our um, analysis and the previous uh, lecture, this infix expression will be converted to 30, right, and 4, and uh, two, and uh, multiple, and last is end, right? Because because the multiple is hard priority than end operator, right? And uh, let's see the output. But now here have some uh, confusion. As you can see, this is uh, one or oh, thirty four or oh, thirty and four. That's that's. That will be confusing for ever or calculators. So we need to append some separator <clears throat> and uh, and the two pole fix method. Um, from our source code, we can we can check the if the chart is uh, digital, we'll append it as the pole fix directly. But when meet the operator will be pushed to stack. But before push to stack, we can add the black, open the black here for separator. Then let's execute this again. Now the output is more clearly right and more exactly. This is a 30 and the 4 and two, and uh, multiple operator and end operator. All right. Next lecture, we will calculate or even uh, the post fix and uh, give our final result. All right. So next lecture. Okay. We already completed the infix to post fix expression convert step, and passed the simple validation. Right. It's time to evaluate the postfix expression and uh, complete our arithmetical algorithm. But before writing the source code, let me explain the algorithm step by step first. OK, clear the add plus. And I will base on uh, this postfix expression to, to do the experiment. Right. Also, we need to really on the stack. And now, this is a post fix expression, and the stack is still empty. Okay, so how to calculate or evaluate this and then give the result? Now, we'll um, read the or loop and read the first digital is one right first digital one is one and uh, and uh, and the next is one two so read the first is one but the next is a is a digital two so the first will be multiple 10 and, and the three right and then and then push into stack okay so far is a is a stack is a 30. 
and the pro suffix will remain this one. And the next is the black, so will be skipped. And the next round. And then we'll meet the four. And the next is not a digital, so only four is a, is a, an operator. All right. Meet the operator and uh, push into stack. OK. That's fine. And, uh, and the next step is the uh, two. Two is the digital. And uh, after uh, after calculators is not a uh, digital. So the two will be read and push into stack, right? OK. The next calculators or operator is multiple. When read multiple, multiple is the operator, will be pop the operator from from stack. First, we'll pop two. Two will be right operator. The two. Okay. And then need to pop another. Another is the four. Four will be left. Left operator. Okay. Now the postfix will not uh, we will remove the multiple operator and the stack will be remaining 30. And then we'll calculate uh, for multiple two is the result is the eight, right? The eight will be pushed into stack again. Okay. Now remove that eight. Is the top element, and then meet the next step will be read the and operator. Okay, then pop the right is eight. Okay, and the left is thirty. All right, and now. So far, it's, uh, operator will be uh, stack will be empty, and uh, and calculator eight and uh, thirty, and next step will be twelve one, right? And the last last step is a pop up. The stack, the result will be 12, 1. Okay, that is uh, that is a step, and uh, I explain it uh, um, one by one. In the next lecture, we will based on this um, algorithm to write the source code. Okay, see you next lecture. Okay, let's write the source code to experiment the do uh, evaluate method. To evaluate my third at here. Okay. First, we need to define the my stack. It's a double top stack. My stack. Length. loop it and a one by one post fix chart index 
if the CH is a black. So continue. Right. It's a very similar uh, previous lecture. And uh, if the CH is a digital, CH is a digital. Like uh, we executed a one, uh, it's a thirty, right? It's a thirty. So so far, so we read it's a one and a three. We need to read one and uh, also need to read the remaining and digital calculators. Okay. How to do that? First, we need to uh, define the operator, and the initial value is the. 0, 0.0. Okay. We will use the wire to wire loop to read this. Expression post expressions length. We need to make sure the index not overflow. And uh, it is still a digital. Okay. This is a condition. The operator, because operator 10 and uh, CH subject 0, right? And uh, cascute double. Let I point to next element, right? So if the i is uh, less than expression length, uh, we will change the CH to next experiment. Try it, i. After the wire, we need to let the i to Roll back, okay, roll back, roll back that. Now we already read the operator uh, from our explanation step, we needed to push into stack. Okay, stack, oh. push operator. Pretty cool. And uh, else, that means uh, it's not the digital, it's uh, just uh, the operator, right? So we need to pop up and uh, calculator, right? Finally, double right operator is uh, pop up. Stack pop up, but we need to verify the stack is uh, empty or not. So I need to write a new testament cert. Ensure pop stack stack, and uh, before pop up. And just a simple check that my stack. Oops, my stack. If the stack is empty, that will be uh, illegal or invalidate expressions through new illegal arguments expressions. The expressions is illegal. Else return stack pop right okay we will base on this method to pop stack this is a right operator and a left operator okay fine so far we already pop up the two operator now 
we will use the switch statement to calculate case if it's the add operator we will stack push the result is a right a left operator and the right operator okay the left and right and then push into stack again break dupe this source code and uh, for for quickly to implement subject okay multiple okay and uh, divide all right is the left to right but uh, um oops oh is a device we need to verify the um, divisor should be not zero, right? That means the, the right operator should not be zero. Or if I, if zero was through, new illegal arguments, exceptions, the illegal, okay. That's fine. And also we will support the power operation. Power operation. All right. A stack push the mass power. Left operator, right operator. Brick. That's cool, we completed the uh, um, calculators at the else branch. All right, now we can push, uh, we can pop up the result because the result we already pushed into stack. Stack, we still use the initial pop stack. That will be result, all right? Now, um, we can execute the test case or supplement more complex expression to verify our um, our source code. Okay, see you next lecture. Okay, it's time to verify the execution expression test um, to validation our stack expression experiment. Okay, and before execution, we need to. Um, and the convert to double, okay. Execution this. Well, it's a uh, it's amazing. Uh, we uh, get the uh, expected result, right? And uh, we can use uh, a parameter a parameter reset test to replace the uh, test annotation and uh, use the CSV source provided the more test the case uh, based on a single test method. Okay, here we go. Um, parameter parameter the test. Uh, that is provided by Jupyter, JUnit file. CSV source. And uh, defined as several test cases. The first absolutely is our first one. Okay, oops. And uh, the expected result is the negative uh, three. Okay. And then we can add the more complex, the 30 and uh, four, and then multiple two and uh, three, two. Okay. This is a second, uh, it, it is allow existing the black, right? And the result will be, the result will be 43, 43. 
Okay, 43, that's no problem. Um, and uh, we also can add the Okay, that will be, let me see, port two. Okay, that will be 30. Right. That defines the expression parameter. And uh, double is uh, result. Um, expression is at here, at the result. All right, then execution at uh, this test method. Okay, of course we can execution the uh, uh, test class and uh, make sure other existing test case can uh, work well. Wow, it's pretty cool. And uh, we, we reached our target and completed the complex uh, arithmetical expressions and uh, the older and the existing test case uh, is uh, passed and also we, we, we supplemented the complex expression is still passed. So let's check that. As you can see, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, now uh, we can remove the system out statement at the source code. All right, so far it's a week, um, we completed under the development of the um, arithmetic expressions by bus stack. And uh, first, um, we implemented the stack, and the second, we convert the infix expression to post expression. And then, uh, evaluate the post fix that is all of the algorithm. Okay. 